Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the next few series, we are going to learn about Ajax, what Ajax is, and then we'll learn about how to use Ajax in WordPress theme development and how to create an infinite scroll with the load more functionality with the help of Ajax calls. All right. So what is Ajax? I'm sure you're pretty much aware about it that Ajax is asynchronous JavaScript and XML. If you check the definition on the internet, it would say something like it's a combination of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code that enables you to send data to a script and then receive and process the script's response without needing to reload the page. However, if you have to put it in simple words, it's basically is a technology that allows you to update the content without page reload. Let's take an example. Google Docs, for instance, uses this technology when saving your work every few minutes. So if you want to create a functionality for your users where you want them to submit a form or maybe you want to perform any action uh, so that when they click on that particular button, a request should go to the backend, get the data and show it to the user or perform any other activity for that matter without having to reload the page. That's when Ajax will be useful. Okay. All right. So we're going to use it for the load more post feature uh, with infinite scroll. And let's talk about Ajax in WordPress. Now, Ajax is already used in WordPress backend and it has been implemented for you. So all you have to do is just use the WordPress functions that are available. Every Ajax request goes through admin-ajax.php file in WP admin folder. So let me show that to you. Okay, so if you go to WordPress file directory, we see we have WP admin here. And if you open this up, this is your admin Ajax file. So let's take a look. So it says WordPress Ajax process execution. Uh, it has more information on the codex as well. You can check that out. This is the Ajax process. It first goes ahead and defines this constant. It checks if WP admin is not defined and defines it. Then it loads the WordPress bootstrap, sends the origin headers. If the request action is not available, it just ties there with the 400 response loads the WordPress administration, loads the Ajax handlers and all of these stuff. So let's keep going. So there are two types of Ajax actions. One is get and second is post. And these are the cores ones available. You can always check it out. And then there are some deprecated ones. And then this is where it registers the core Ajax calls. And now if you scroll down, these are the two places I want you to like you to focus on. There are two Ajax hooks. One is WP underscore Ajax underscore and then the action name and the second one is WP underscore Ajax underscore no priv action and if you see the difference between these two is that this fires the non authenticated Ajax actions for logged out users and this one fires for the logged in users okay so that's why you, there's a check over here that is user logged in uh, otherwise if it's not logged in then use this hook whatever function you're going to attach to this particular hook will be fired accordingly all right. See that if you notice over here, that is always WP die zero to ensure we get a proper response. We'll talk about this more in detail. I just wanted to show you what is there in the core file. Okay. But you should never touch this core file. This, this is just for your understanding how things are working under the hood. Now, if you want to make an Ajax call, you can use jQuery dot Ajax function in JavaScript. And it basically accepts a bunch of parameters. Uh, first one will be your Ajax URL, which will be the URL path of up until the admin Ajax.php. Then you set the type of this Ajax request action, whether it's a post or a get. Uh, then you can pass any data. This can this will have an action name. Now this is important because WordPress also has its own actions registered. So if you are so if you are making a custom Ajax call, then you, of course, you need to set up your own actions. Then uh, you need to use the Ajax nonce. So we have already discussed what nonce is in the previous videos. If you haven't watched that video, I recommend, I highly recommend go and watch that in the, in the same playlist. And nonce is basically for security. So we basically create a nonce. We send that nonce through the JavaScript. And then once our function is fired, then we receive the nonce. And then we verify to ensure that we are actually getting a secure request. 
And based on this action, the code in the admin Ajax creates two hooks, which I have already shown you. First is WP underscore Ajax underscore whatever that action is, your action name, and WP Ajax underscore no prev. Okay. Now every Ajax call needs to supply at least one piece of data using get or post uh, call action. And that's your action. It's the same one. So whatever name you put it in the hook, make sure you put the same name while making an Ajax request call in the data action. So let's summarize. So as we discussed, WP underscore Ajax underscore my action fires for logged in users and WP underscore Ajax underscore no priv underscore my action fires for logged out users. Now in the next video, we're going to discuss about how to use the Ajax for the load more feature. We will first understand the basic concepts and then we will implement that by creating the load more functionality. So I hope you're excited as I am and I'm going to see you in the next video very soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.